Yo, I found silverware. You want to go out? Inspector, I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In the garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? <laughs> I'm Rather so absurd. happy. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place. Or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. Hmm. So then, okay. Perform analysis. We still have the scent of the intruders. Okay, so let's go home. Let's go home and perform an analysis. Since we didn't do that while we were home getting Toby. Come on, Toby, let's go home. You're so precious. I can't. I can't. Sometimes I just gaze out the window and think about how precious you are, Toby. How precious you are to me. Your sweet little face. And then I remember that you're a dog. Oh, let's go. Let's examine the rope. Let us see how the rope was cut. Uh. The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. Okay. Boop. They frayed a little. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. But I mean, if you had fabric scissors, it might help. Oh. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. Hmm. Well, a knife isn't going to do it. A knife's going to look real dumb. Or not. If Maybe I cut not. the rope with a knife, what? it matches the original. Why wouldn't that fray more? I don't understand. Science is weird. The rope was cut once with a sharp knife and tied quickly in sailor knots. That could indicate that the intruder had a sailor's background. Yes, I agree. Hmm. If I do that, when it comes to the center. Oh! The person who was visiting that night was probably a sailor. So look for a sailor. Do I get to go back to that bar dressed as a sailor? Because that's really all I want. <laughs> uh. That doesn't give me. Hmm. Oh. Search Rock of Gibraltar, 1893. Good idea. Art and architecture, economic science, technology, history, medicine, botany. Oh. Uh. My search must be focused upon the ship's name and year of voyage. Oh. 1893. Right. Okay. The Rock of Gibraltar, a bulk carrier from the Adelaide Southampton London line, Cunard Building, James Street, London, has returned from a six month voyage through India, New Zealand, and Australia. The ship brought to England Miss Mary Fraser, the heiress to the Fraser family, owning land and tin mines in Australia. This reportedly beautiful young lady is presently engaged to Sir Eustace Brackenstall, one of the wealthiest gentlemen in Kent. Ouch. Here it is. Yes. Truly. Yes. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London Line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. 
I'll call in the specialist. What kind of specialists? My children specialists? Who are we talking about? Task for Wiggins. Yep. The address of the Rock of Gibraltar ship owner. We can find the crew list there. How do I call Wiggins? Oh, I have to go to the window, right? And go, Wiggins! Yep. Boop! Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? Yeah, man, I'm just working on whatever that was. Doing my job. At your service, Mr. Holmes. I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Do you really I'll, think they'll find it, Holmes? Yeah, I was gonna say. My we... secret police is better than the Yard in many ways. Three hours later. We found him! Here it we is, Mr. It. Holmes. But we can't take it back. It's too risky. Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. Ah. Uh. The rack, this list sir. shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. Hmm. And these are the lists of the oh, senior Jesus. officers of the Adelaide, Southampton, London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th. Um... Departure from Adelaide, Australia. Uh, March 6th, we need November 7th. October. November 10th. Okay, so. Departure on November 10th, so. October. It would be in here somewhere. I do not think that this Oops. sailor has any connection to the case. That's not. Who I, sorry, I didn't realize. I didn't understand. Okay, so then I, I double checked. This these. officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. <gasps> oh, I see what's going on. Okay, I understand. I was confusing myself. Okay, so they have to arrive. Before November. Before November 7th. So, departure from London on November 10th. So they would have been around. So... Mr. Jack Crocker was in London upon the date of the crime, and he is due to depart in two days. Um... Henry... Ernest... Thomas, Herbert, William. Nope. October, so these people would be around. Harold Sanders, Thomas Walker. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Oh, right. Fuck, I keep confusing myself. Departure in May, arrival November 12th. Do I have to go through all of these people? This sure, officer I'll do is it. still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. William Herbert. Ernest Herbert William. I do not think that this sailor. Oops. This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Oh, and Jack. Jack Crocker. Mr. Jack. Oh, wait, no. Cro Jack, Jack, we already. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Herbert. This officer is. is still at sea. Therefore. And Ernest. This officer is still. Cool. We Captain Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. 
He was the only one around at the time of the murder. Aha! Let's go find him. Touch his butt. I mean... Find him. <laughs> this Crocker, do you think... It would be interesting to meet him. Our young friend should be able to find him. Search for sailor suspects? Come plach. Hey, Wagons. Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. <laughs> Lots Crocker, of live a little. Storms. Mm hmm. Yes. Mr. Holmes, I was oh, informed you look that like you were a looking for me, and I'd like to know captain. why. Yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. Nope. Let's look at him. Let's look at his body. His sweet body. Beard. 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 Strong build. Sick outfit. Working man's hands. Dirty pants. Newspaper ink. Dirt, 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 dirt. Clean boots. Uh. Knife. Sea knife. Not just a knife, a sea knife. You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her from when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love. Particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant. You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You? And what do you know? That evening, you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right if there was no evidence. What then? You tied her up. Because you're into that. Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? Q. Um, sailor, sailor's knots, I guess? Yes as she was tied with a sailor's knot, your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the shark. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. At night? It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. <laughs> Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Hmm. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. What so are you doing with that hand? Them. So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. Do, do now we? I understand why you dissected the bell rope. <sighs> Crocker's lying. His involvement is clear. He appeared as soon as he heard that I was looking for him, thus signaling his guilt. Captain Crocker was aboard the Sharp on the night of the murder. He was not afraid to confront me. He had a confident demeanor. I mean, I get, I guess. Captain is the killer. 
Uh, I mean, shit, that happened so fast. Like, maybe, maybe this is right. Uh. 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 Jack Crocker defended a woman against a violent and dipsomaniacal man. The mystery is solved, but you decide to keep it a secret. There's no need to inform the police. Jack Crocker is a murderer, and you will bring him and his accomplice, Lady Brackenstall, to justice. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Maybe. I don't know. I'll go for it. I'll go for it, maybe. Wiggins, could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? Right away. Barely an hour. He was totally cool with coming back here. That concerns me. <laughs> Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailor's knots. And not least, the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. <gasps> it is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her, for I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He! He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. I admit I killed the monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary. No. But that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes. You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear, and it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Mary had nothing to do with it. Now it is time to end this. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? 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 WWW! Oh god! Hold your herrings, Captain! Achievement Please unlocked! Me, Captain Crocker. I wished only to test your sincerity, and your words and deeds have far exceeded my expectations. See here, Captain Crocker. We'll do this in due form of law. You are the prisoner. Watson, you are a British jury. Captain Crocker. The evidence shows that you acted without premeditation and used reasonable force to protect an innocent victim from her husband's brutality. Your devotion pushed you to attempt to kill yourself in order to protect the one you love. Now, what say you, gentlemen of the jury? Not guilty, my lord. Vox populi, vox dei. You are acquitted, Captain Crocker. So long as the law does not find some other victim, you are safe from me. Mr. Holmes. It is a great responsibility that I take upon myself, but I will give Lestrade an excellent lead, and if he can't avail himself of it, I can do no more. Come back to your lady in a year, and may her future and yours justify us in the judgment which we have pronounced this night. Ah, we're helping people fall in love, even though they murdered somebody. <laughs> ah, it's whatever. I'm afraid that the murderers have escaped us. What? Do you mean to tell me that you failed? Never thought I'd live to see the day. I mentioned the murderers, not the case. 
It is obvious that the crime was committed by three criminals who cannot be the Randalls. You really think so? You only need to find a gang of three thugs wandering around. I can trust you to do that. If they exist, I'll catch them. You'll find someone, I have no doubt of it. Goodbye, Inspector. Oh my god. We're gonna just let three dudes take the fall for this. Yeah! Nailed it first try! Peace! 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 Oh, I feel so good. That feels so good. That absolves me of any sadness about the other cases. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I'm pretty neutral. 65% of people made the same moral choices. Vox Populi, Vox Day. Mm-hmm. Flies. It's oh, not promising. Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? <laughs> what? Clones? Where have all these wretched bees come from? No, not bees! I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. <laughs> Damn it! Ridiculous and dangerous. They're domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a Enjoy hurry. the bees. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, how ever did you guess? <laughs> For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. Adorable.